Hi everybody, welcome to Daisy. And in this video, I wanted to show you how you can get started creating cinematics for your Daisy YouTube, um, or yes, Facebook or Twitter content. So this is the B-roll that you'll have running um, in between the action in your videos. And you see this in an awful lot of Daisy videos where people will be playing on a public server or a, pr a private server and there's action going along. Um, but in between that action, you'll see characters running along, you know, from a fixed camera angle. So there'll be a character running in and out of shot or an overhead view or a tracking shot and all, all this sort of stuff. And you probably think, well, how on earth do they do that? Because you can't see that in game. Well, you, you, you can do that with uh, a number of tools. Now, I'm using um, community um, offline mode here because it's one of the simplest ways of getting into doing um, uh, cinematics. But you could also use uh, the, the CF mod with community online tools and do it on a public server. Or you could use Zombri admin tools with CF as well and do it on an online server, whether that be, well, obviously it'd be a, be a private private community server. Um, and the advantages of community offline tools, and I'll put a link in the description down below that you can click on and you can go and you install it on your local PC to do it. It's very simple to do. It's very simple to start. Um, Whereas, um, obviously, if you're installing CF and community online tools or Zombra, it's a little bit more complicated on, on a community sort of online server. However, the disadvantage of uh, community offline when you're doing it on your own PC is that it's just you. So you're the cameraman and your character is the actor, if you like, in these shots. Whereas if you do it on an online server, you could have a friend or friends who are the actors running around doing the stuff while you or somebody else, you know, controls the camera, you know, zooming in and out and recording stuff. It's also important to remember that all we're doing here is we're kind of setting the stage for a shot um, and then we're playing it out but we're not actually capturing it within Daisy. You're gonna to have to use your own capture software, whether that be OBS, or you're gonna be using something like an external capture card, an Elgato, and then saving it in. Maybe you're using a GeForce Experience, definitely recommend that, that's what I use. It's very, very good, very, very simple, works very, very well. Um, I'd also recommend that you apply any effects to your video so vignettes or color changes or you know black and white and all that sort of stuff do that in the editing phase afterwards when you've captured all, all your shots and you're bringing them together um, that's when you, you add your post processing also if you want to save time have a shot list of shots you want to make uh, maybe you've you've done a video of where um you know, you're surviving on Cherner or something, and then write down all the B-roll, all those, those shots, you know, you running off the beach, you running into Electro, you know, an overhead shot of you running on the Northwest Airfield, all those, make a list of that because it's much, much quicker. Now, what all of these programs have in common, whether that be community offline mode or community online mode or Zombri or any of the others, is the ability to spawn items in onto the map, like these two helicopter crashes, so you can create a set, if you like, and this will include buildings, zombies, animals, loot, all this sort of stuff, and the ability to have a free cam, so that you can you can move the camera around, um, and then you know you can have shots of your character running along. Sort of, sort of like that. Let's go back to there. And all of this is kind of only limited, really, by your imagination. And what, what you'll find is, as you use these tools to create shots and create films, now your first ones aren't going to be a masterpiece. You know, you're going to have it's going to be juddery. The editing is going to be a bit suspect of this. But the more you use it, the better you'll get at it, and the more ideas you'll have about how you can use these tools. I do recommend that if you're using community offline tools, in the instructions on, on the site, it tells you how to disable zombies spawning in. Um, definitely do that. And you probably want to do that on a on, on your online server as well. D disable animals spawning in as well, randomly, so that while you're creating a shot, you know, that you spent 10 minutes trying to sort out and gather everybody together, that um, you know, a zombie doesn't run up and start ruining it, ruining it that way. But as I say, we're doing this in community offline mode, so there's only me. So I'm the cameraman and the uh, the actor, which means you know we're a little bit limited, but we can do 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 certain things. Now, the first thing you'll probably want to do is after you've installed it, um, 
is in order to sort of toggle between the free cam and your character you press you press insert um, and your character will end up if you've gone into free cam wherever you're looking but there is this rather sort of bug rather odd bug where once you've been in free cam and done stuff the controls for your character reactivate even though you're in free cam so you end up in a situation where as you move the camera your character starts to move as well now we can take advantage of that to do certain things and it can be quite cool but just be aware of that quite a lot of the time you'll be jumping in and out of free cam to reset it so your character will stay still while you do the shot or will just run in one direction while you do the shot so let's just jump to free cam and then what we can do is we can come back and we can look at our character. Here we go. So one of the first things you probably want to do is just go into your options and you just want to disable all the HUD items because you want a nice clean look to your um, when you're in third person, won't you? So we apply that back. There we go. So there's, there's no other HUD items there. And the next thing you maybe want, you want to do is bring up a community online tool so press Y offline tool sorry and then we want to press G I want to enable God mode and press execute that way we won't accidentally kill ourselves and then the next thing you maybe want to do is change the look of your character because you'll want your character in your b-roll to look the same as the character in your footage from from your actual gameplay so if we click on op what you can do is if you click on search at the top you could look at I don't know um, jacket like that and we could um, hiking jacket black and we could just put that into our inventory and if we click out of that we've now got a field jacket um, sorry we've now got a hiking jacket so we could take that off we could put that on um, and that way you can make your character in your b-roll match how the character looks in your actual in your actual movie um, the other thing you may want to do is change the time of day uh, on your video as well so again if we press Y to bring up the controls if we click on W for weather what we can do here is we can change the start time so we've got like there's dawn there's midday you see the Sun moving over through to night um, what we got? We can change the weather so it's more overcast. We could make it rain. Make it foggy. All this sort of stuff. And then whatever you decide to do, you know, just kind of save it that way, and uh, and we'll be good to go. The other th cool thing you do is, you know, you can teleport to another part of the map. So if we go TP, we could go, actually, we want to go to, you could put coordinates in, or we go, let's go to Devil Castle. So click on Devil's Castle, let's teleport there. Oh, yeah, but <laughs> my camera stayed where it is, so that's not good. So let's press insert, let's bring our character back, and let's do it from within. <laughs> that's quite funny there, wasn't it? Devil's Castle. So let's teleport there. There we go. So let's just come out of that. And let's just run over here. It's a nice, nice cinematic place, isn't it? Now, obviously, when we're like this and we've got um, no HUD on, if you wanted to do a basic, you know, third person shot, you would just start your recording. The character's running along like that. Um, and then you or you could do a first person view, couldn't you? you just start your recording and start doing it like that let's go over here and let's do that you know that classic shot that you'll see on daisy videos which is kind of the zoom into character so what we do is if we press insert and um, that gives us the free cam and there, there's our fella now as you're moving around in free cam you use WASD to kind of uh, go forward and back and you've got Q and Z to move up and down now the speed see, the, see some of the things are a little bit bug see how he, he's leaning over and doing stuff some of the things um, so to control the speed at which you you move around use your mouse wheel so if you scroll your mouse wheel away from you this the movement speed will speed up and if you scroll it uh, towards you your movement speed will slow down one of the things again I would recommend is if you 
um, recorder shot slowly and then you speed it up in post-processing it will look nice and smooth okay whereas if you um, record something fast and then try and slow it down it will get jerky so it's always better to go slowly and then speed it up in post-processing so let's say we wanted to do a nice little um, zoom in shot on this fella here so let's pick our height probably about there and then we would zoom all right, so now what you've got there is because I've been mucking around. I've, I've started walking, haven't I? Oh, I, I managed to put on auto walk, which I want to show you in just a second. So let's put this fella here. So let's insert to get into free cam. And that's all we're going to do is we're just going to put the middle of the camera over him. And then we're just going to back away like so. In fact, we can back away quite fast. You know, and maybe the beginning of your video was, you know, it all started at Devil's Castle, and then kind of the opening shot is kind of, you know, this. I find myself at Devil. Devil see, I was going a bit fast then at the end, wasn't I? Slow that down. I find myself at Devil's Castle. Here we go, let's try that again. There we go, see. So, yeah, it all began on a normal day on Chernerus. I was minding my own business at Devil's Castle. When, you know, and this could, could kind of be the shot there. Da, 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 you know, that, that that's kind of could be the opening shot, couldn't it? You could do. Um, or the closing shot could be zooming away from your character. Um, and remember, you're going to you're going to keep your shots fairly short as well. If you want to, you know, just watch any film and see how short the cuts are, how much time it is on the cuts. So that's kind of your basic zoom in and zoom out. Um, now the next thing you want to do is obviously you want to do third person shots where your character is actually moving. These are the ones that kind of bring things to life, and this is where the auto walk and auto run controls come in, and this is done on X. So let's say I wanted a shot just of my character running across the, the, the screen. You know, I would start my um, start my capture recording. You know, so it's recording. Then all you do is you hit X, and there there he goes. Now what you'll notice is once we've done something, it the free cam bugs out in the fact that I'm now able to kind of control my character at the same time as moving the camera, which isn't always th isn't always that good. So, but let me let me show you some other examples. So what you do in that case, you know, every time you press insert to go back into the third person view or the first person view, then come out into the free cam again, and that that will have stopped. So other things you could do, like with with this, is you could do something like this. You could zoom upwards like this, and then look down on your character. In fact, let's go down a bit, and you could do that classic daisy shot. You know from above like this so if i now press x you'll see my character running across the shot you know we, we would we would record that um or obviously right see now it's bugged out again so we want to insert and let's move him over here uh, so let's go back to the free cam again pressing so so another classic shot could be the um uh, let's just go up a bit could be the follow cam where our character is running and we're just going to follow them so we get them running and then we can we can follow them across like this and then go past them like that that's pretty cool isn't it right let's go back um, or another classic shot is the running uh, towards camera so we could press insert to move away come down here for example Set our camera up here. We we'll start recording. Hit X, and there's that one. Or obviously, you've also got running past the camera like that. And then we've got to come in and out because it bugs out and starts starts controlling it. Another cool thing you can do is if now this is a bit buggy, it doesn't always work, but in in community uh, offline tools. But if you uh, click and hold the center button for a little bit 
you can kind of, let's see if I can get it to work. That might not want to work for me. There we go. You can get it to rotate around the central spot. So for another kind of another kind of shot like that. And also remember the the auto walk function like that doesn't so let me just let me just show you. You can also do uh, auto run and auto sprint. And they they're on sh uh, it's shift X. So shift. So let's move it a little bit closer. So shift X gives you auto sprint, and then you press X to stop him. Let's go back in. Let's come out again. And then we've got uh, control X gives you just a slow walk and X to stop him. Now also if you put your character on the ground thus and then we go to free cam with insert and then we press X your character is just going to start doing that. So you could combine it with you know that sort of circular pan Or kind of, you know, a cross pan like this. Is that a cross pan or is that a dolly movement? You'll have to watch some, you know, you could have uh, something like. You could have a shot like this, couldn't you? How cool is this? This make great B roll. So, you know, crawling into the camera. Or crawling away from the camera. I was trying to escape under cover of gunfire. All that sort of stuff. Now let's just stop him. Let's insert. Get back up again. Now another thing that's pretty cool is. While you're um, in free cam. If we uh, reload. So we can go insert to go into free cam. Your mouse buttons actually still work. So you can, I mean, this is great for screenshots as well. You know, so you say you, in your real life video, um, your uh, people were, you know, you were in a gunfight. You know, you could create a shot like this. You know, so, something like that to, to give it a little bit more. Um, and that's all just you know in free cam and then meanwhile off he goes <laughs> also hopefully by watching this you could see how how easy it would be or more powerful it would be if you were doing this with a friend online so your friend is is the is the character you're the cat well you probably make your friend your character and you would say right and you'd be like steven spielberg you say right i want you to you know i want you to stand on top of the rock and then, um, you know, you would be the free cam, and it would be like, right, I want you to do a. Uh, I wonder if it'll work actually. Oh, oh no! Don't don't kill yourself. <laughs> I want you to. There we go. I want you to point. It's getting a bit closer. So these are, these are these are pretty good. These aren't they? <laughs> all this, all this sort of stuff. Now remember, you know, you can spawn in zombies, you can spawn in am animals, you can spawn in, you know, all sorts of things. Where's my gun? I dropped my gun. There it is. And, and sort of, and any objects as well. Um, so, you know, you can create your own scene you want. Um, and hopefully I've kind of given you an idea of the power of this stuff in creating b-roll footage you know for your videos i mean you can create entire movies you know doing this sort of thing on your on on daisy um now this is only pc and as i've explained you're using the daisy community offline tool in this particular case but you could do online with the, with the cf mod or with zombie admin tools and you're probably thinking well rob what about 
Xbox and PlayStation. Now, remember, on Xbox and PlayStation, you have got the option to turn the HUD off. And you have got the option to go first person or third person. And you have got the option to play on a private community server with your mates. So you can do exactly what we've been doing with a free cam. And what it is, your mate would be in first person with their HUD off, and they would be the camera. Unfortunately, obviously they can't fly. You can't do the free cam when, when you're flying up in the air. But all of the ground footage you could do, you know, it's going to take you a bit more time, but as long as you've got like that shot list of, of, um, of scenes you want to capture, you know, you could do it, you know, and have a... You, you basically... It would be, you know, you'd have, you'd have, you could have your own own film crew. So you'd have a vehicle with, you know, the the, the props that you wanted in it when you're playing a PlayStation or Xbox, um, and you could use the vehicle to move around to different locations on DayZ. Um, you could stand up on the vehicle. Um, you could even, I mean, when you really start thinking about it, you could even have, if you had two mates, you could have a ma a person driving the car while you stood on top of the car. I think you can do that, can't you? And and then your character, you know, the the, the the character could be running along, and then you could do a, a a tracking dolly shot on top of a car, you know, as you go going past. The only thing you can't do is, is fly in the air. But there's lots of ways to kind of think about how you can do this stuff to to get similar effects. It just takes a little bit more imagination and a, and a little bit more work. Because as we know, to make beautiful art or successful art or or in anything, you know, it's it's ten percent. Um, inspiration and 90 percent perspiration you know that that's kind of uh, everything that it's um all around so so there we go that's my you know how to get you started creating cinematic b-roll cinematic shots in daisy for your youtube or your twitter or your facebook videos um hopefully it's been useful hopefully it's given you some ideas um if it has been hit like if you want to see more of the same obviously press subscribe make sure if you do do some some cinematic videos that have been inspired by this video stick them in you know links down below the video so i can take a look at them and gain sort of inspiration for myself too anyway that's enough for me i think we should finish off with like a zoom out shouldn't we so so let, let's do that so and then it ended at devil's castle and they were all dead dun, 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 until tomorrow